Good day, my valued students. I decided to add to my Think, Learn, Earn website design package, Adobe Fireworks. In today's lesson, I'm going to share with you how simple it is to automate the process in Fireworks. Fireworks is actually my favorite program for creating web graphics and animations for Edge and things like that. It's basically vector-based. The true advantage of Fireworks is that it creates PNG files, which is web publishable. If you were in Photoshop as an example, Photoshop is pixel-based, it's not vector-based. This program gives you the best of both worlds, so you definitely want to take advantage of this, and this is going to be part of my uh, bundle course on thinklearnearn.com. So I just want to share with you today how simple it is to basically create your slideshow to bring into your web page document. More importantly, I'm going to share with you how to do it very simplistically inside of Adobe, I'm sorry, inside of an ultimatum theme framework. Yes, by Adobe, of course. No, by Web Foundry, the great guys in Web Foundry. Okay, so let's get started. So what I have here is my different pages. Now, pages can be different web pages. In this particular case, they're just graphics. So what I want to do to keep the consistency here, the only thing that's different, the, the icons are different, and the color scheme is different based on the software. So just like if you were in Photoshop, you can take your layer. These are not layers, but these are pages, but they act the same way. I'm going to take that and drag that down to my new icon. And I'm going to name this uh, Adobe Fireworks. Now, why am I putting the hyphen in there? Well, that's an important step because eventually this is going to create the web graphics for you. And what I don't want to have happen, what I don't want to have happen is uh, I, I, I want to basically make the file names. These are going to be the file names because web graphics should be lowercase, no space because it is case sensitive. You should not put spaces in the name of your uh, file names, whether it's a folder, a QuickTime movie, a flash file, any file that goes on the internet. My rule of thumb is lowercase, no space. If you have to use spaces for SEO purposes, I would put a hyphen because uh, uh, the search engines like Google or Bing recognize a hyphen as a space in the word. So as an example, this will come up in a search engine down here, Adobe Fireworks as Adobe Fireworks because I put in the hyphen. All right, so right now, for all practical purposes, these two slides are exactly the same. Incidentally, my slides are 1280 by 320. That's just a good default that I go with. You can do whatever you want. Now, keep in mind for responsive design, which the ultimatum theme will do for you, um, these file sizes could be a little bit larger if you want to. There's JavaScript we can basically develop in our course that will basically swap out for the smaller sizes. That'll make more sense as we basically get into that in a future course. So here's what we're gonna do. I already have the logo copied to the clipboard that I'm going to use. I'm just going to paste it in here and I'm just going to size that. I'm going to bring that to the front. Command arrow key up. I'm going to bring that to the front. I'm going to position that right about there. I'm going to Command T for transform, Control T for windows, and just resize it to that exact proportion. Hit the return key. Now, what I want to have happen, I want to take advantage. Actually, that needs to be a little bit smaller. Command T, Control T for windows and just make that a little bit smaller right about there. Actually, that was about the same size, wasn't it? Command T, and let's do that. Okay, now this back logo we don't need anymore, so we can delete it. And I wanna basically color coordinate this scheme. So I'm gonna select this uh, background color, go to the eyedropper, and sample this slider color. Actually, that's not gonna be a good move because that's the same color, so let's sample this color. Then I'm gonna select this box, I'm going to sample the lighter color. So and then for practical purposes, this text would need to be, say, black. Let's make that black. And let's make this text white, because that'll just be a good contrast. Why does it keep flipping on me? OK. There you go. Make a change. Save a change. Now, I'm not going to bore you with my typing skills, so I'm just going to retype into that and share with you how that works. So I have the type, the correct type, the wording in here correctly. Now, if you look through these different slides, what I just want to have happen, now the color schemes are different, but I just want to rotate this. This shows a little bit of movement, so I'm just going to take this, Command-T, Control-T for Windows, Transform, I'm just going to basically move that back to the right. So if you go through this, here's the first slide, second slide, third slide, fourth slide, fifth slide. Now, the order of the slides in this particular program matters not because once I bring this into my ultimatum theme, of course, I can change the order. 
So let me share with you the benefit of what I just did. Notice I didn't make five separate files. I made one file that contains the five pages, the five graphics. Now the rest is really child's play. So now I could go to the file menu, go to export, and based on these choices, what do I want to do? Well, first of all, I want to go to the correct place that I'm going to put this. I'm just going to put this in a folder called batch two. And based on these choices, what do I want to do? Well, software comes down to choices. So we're going to say, let's move our pages to files. Now we can move our states or individual animated states. We can move our layers to files. I talk about that in great detail in my full length Adobe Fireworks course. So this is going to be a page to the files that we're not done yet because we don't just want to do the current page. We want to do all pages. Or if we had 20 pages, we can select pages and do selective pages. Now, this is just going to be a folder that's going to, I'm going to feed this folder. It's going to be a feeder folder to the ultimatum theme. So it really doesn't matter that I put this inside the images folder. If this is going to be a web directory that I did say in Dreamweaver as an example, I would go ahead and put this inside an IMGS folder or whatever file they want to give it. So if I simply hit export, I now take in those files and export that. So now I'm going to share with you how to put this into the ultimatum theme. Here we are in the ultimatum theme, a little bit of public service announcement here. I do want to overemphasize that I am going to be launching a full new great hip website, thinklearnearn.com, which is totally my site, my control. So my price is going to be a little bit cost, more cost effective. More importantly, I can offer you deals on software, great deals, bundle packages. So here's how this works. This site is going to launch on the 29th of January, in about a week. Today's Wednesday, the 22nd. Thinks today is the 22nd. Is the, yes, today is the 22nd. So a week from today. Now here's how it works. Uh, I did an announcement last night, and to, I, I thank you guys very much because I had quite a, quite a lot of people sign up for my $99 bundle, which I'll explain more about that in a second. Now I did get some uh, emails, some contact from students saying, well, you know, I really can't afford $99 right now. Can you do any better? Well, I can't do any better, but I can do this. I could basically break it up into two payments. And here's how this would work. If you basically pay $49 today, you will get the software packages today plus the web hosting today. Then once the site launches, when you log in, you will have 45 days to pay the balance. So it's a total of $99. You'll pay $49 today and you'll pay the balance uh, within 45 days of the, of the launch of the site. So if you're okay with that, I could do the deal. So let's get into this again. So we're going to go into edit a layout. And here I have my different layouts inside of Ultimatum theme. So this is my main layout. What I want to do is go to my secondary layout. And the secondary layout has already been set up, but I just want to change that so it has a different slideshow. So as an example, if I go back to the site again for a second, so here is the first page, and if I go here to click this deal, it takes you to the second page, and boring, it's the same slideshow. So I just want to kind of spruce that up a little bit, and here's a simple way we can do this. So I'm going to go to the edit page again. I'm sorry, my mistake. I meant to go to, I meant to go to the edit layout. Based on these choices, we want to go into slideshow and we want to create ourselves a new slideshow. So we have the first slideshow, which I call main slider, silly me. I'm going to make a new slideshow. And I'll just call that slide show two. And if I can learn how to spell, that'd be a good thing, slideshow two. And I'm going to add images to my slideshow two. So I'm going to go to my media, these are the previous slides that were in here, so I'm going to go to my upload files, I'm going to go navigate my way to where the files were kept, which is inside of my batch 2, and I'm just going to select these. Now it doesn't matter the order that I select these, because I can rearrange them once they come in. So these are going to upload to the server, and I'm going to say select. So I can choose to basically change the order of this, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say, okay, I want Dreamweaver to be first. So I'm gonna take Dreamweaver and put Dreamweaver on top. I'll make Fireworks second. I'll make the Ultimatum theme and I'll make Adobe Edge Animate for it. This way it's slightly different. I'm gonna say publish that. Now, I already have a layout for this and I'm gonna go into great detail, of course, in the court and then during the course, I'll go into great detail on how this is done. So. I'm going to go back to my 
site. I'm going to go to my second page. This is my first page. I'm going to go to my second page. Again, the second page slideshow is exactly the same. So we're going to go back into edit layout. And the layout's already set up, but what I do need to change is the slideshow that it's querying. So based on these choices, this is my second page layout. I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to change that simply to slideshow too. It's really, really that simple. I'm all about production techniques. If there's a quicker, faster way to do things, that's what you're paying me for. For those of you that think training's all the same, I can assure you it's not. There's a lot of teachers out there, you know, but with all due respect, you're gonna waste your time with silly nonsense. I get right into how to do it the right way based on my now 27 years of training experience doing this. So if there's a quicker, faster way to do it, that's what you're paying me the big bucks for. Now, let's get back into talking about the uh, promotion I have set, set up here. But first, let's go and look at the website. So I'm gonna to go to view site, and here is my first page, good. And if I go here to click the deal, there's my second page. And of course, what happened there? Apparently, silly Robert can't chew gum and walk because I forgot to save it down here. I saved the layout, but I meant to save the widget, but unfortunately, I was talking to you at the same time. So uh, my apologies on that. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save the layout. Now I'm gonna go back up to the site itself. And if I click on here, get this deal now, you'll see presented with a different series of slides. Now it's the same slides, it's just a different order to kind of mix it up a bit. So again, what I wanna share with you, this is what you're gonna get. I'm launching this site next on January 29th. So you will get my ultimatum theme course, full access, lifetime updates. You're gonna get my dream of responsive design course. I'm gonna add on to this list. In fact, let me do that right now. To share with you how easy this is to do, Let's edit our page. Let's go into here and let's make that our uh, second, let's make that our third course. So I'm just gonna copy that, hit the return key, paste. Of course, that is an, is an ordered list that automatically puts the numbers in there. And let's put in there my Adobe Fireworks Web Graphics Course. Perfect, I update that. I go back to viewing the page. Yes, I did stay on that. Sometimes I'm quicker than the uh, software. So when that happens, that means it didn't refresh. And now I go up to view the page. And there you go. So here's where you're gonna get this bundle. Now, for those of you that don't think this is worth it, any one of these single courses is worth $100 all day long, okay? You're gonna get the ultimatum theme course, plus you're gonna get some software. So the software that's included in my $99 deal, and again, for those of you that are on a little bit of a tighter budget, I cannot reduce the price anymore. I'm really, you know, that's a great package right there. You're gonna get all these different things. But I can do is you can pay $49 today, you get the web hosting plan, you get the software packages and you'll have instant access to the site once it launches next week. And then 45 days from that, you would owe the balance. You would owe me. Do the math on that. So, okay. So, you, uh, you, of course, you owe me $50. So, $50 within 45 days of the day the site launches. So, I think that's really reasonable. So, again, you're going to get the ultimatum theme course. You can get my dream of responsive design course with e commerce, mobile apps, development, and everything else included. You're gonna get the Adobe Fireworks Web Design Graphics course, also for doing comps, et cetera, et cetera. My Adobe Edge Animate Interactive Web Design course for putting into your ultimatum theme, or of course, your Dreamweaver uh, project. Adobe Edge, which is made for basically great for doing your media queries, point and click, how to make money with Google AdSense. See, the objective of my training is not just to teach you all these great techniques, but also teach you how to make money, how to deal with clients, how to close the deals, all those kind of things. So in addition to that, I'm gonna give you my uh, how to get ranked in Google search engines. This course alone goes for 150 bucks, okay? Plus you get to get the software full version. This is a full version, full registered version. It's not a bootleg copy, it's the actual real deal and micro themer. Plus, and I'll explain what this is. So that you're gonna get the pro license for $125, okay? Full access lifetime updates, the greatest theme in the world, the ultimate theme, I use it all the time, I make a lot of money with it. 
plus you're going to get microthemer. Now what this is, and I'll do a video series on this, which, which will be included with the package. You're going to get the standard version. The only difference is this is unlimited. It's a little bit more. You know, I don't really think that's necessary. You know, if you, and if you are making money building a lot of websites, well then upgrade to that. But this is really gr a great start. What this amazing software does, and there's a little demo video here if you want to click on that, but this will build simple point and click uh, CSS rules right on the interface. So I can basically click right here, go to a dialog box and change anything on this page. This is an amazing themer. And this is the most current version, of course, it comes with free updates. Plus, here's the real plus. Drum roll, please. You're going to get reseller web hosting, okay? And I've decided to up the deal a little bit better. Instead of getting 30 web accounts, you're going to get 50. In fact, let me make a change to that right now. You're going to get 10 gigabytes of space. You're going to get up to 50 web accounts. Now, let me share something with you really importantly. I'm going to update that. I'm going to view the page. Now, let's do some basic math here. So let's forget everything I'm giving you. Let's forget about the training. Let's forget about the software. Let's forget about all the goodies and stuff. Let's just focus on what if I gave you, you know, two years of web hosting for $99. Forget everything else. So you had to pay $99 for two years of reseller web hosting for 10 gigabytes of space. Now you might say 10 gigabytes, well, that's not enough. Well, there's companies out there offering unlimited. Well, that's nonsense. Anybody that tells you that they're giving you, know, give you unlimited space, I have a bridge in Brooklyn I like to sell you. That's total nonsense. But here's here's the really important part you need to know. The average website, don't take my word for this, do a Google search. The average website takes up less, way less than 50 megabytes of space. An entire you know, mom and pop 10, 12, 15 page website, which I imagine most of you are going to be building. I would like to think most of you are going to be building $50,000, $60,000 sites. And if you do, I will help you every step of the way. Okay, but just let's be practical about this. So uh, 10 gigabytes is basically 10,000 megabytes. So if you had 10,000 megabytes and you divide that by 50, that means each website can take up 200 megabytes. Okay, which is which is you know ridiculous. You can actually probably put more than 50, but just so you're we're on the same page here, you're gonna get 50 web host accounts. Not that's not 50 domain names. Of course, you have to pay for your domain names. But let's do some basic simple math. Again, let's forget the software and the training and everything else. Let's just say that you just had to pay $99 for two years of web hosting. Okay, well if you take that number, divide that by two. That's $49 a year. And if you take that number and divide that by 12, that's $4 and uh, $4 and, and, and 12, 12 and a half cents a month. And if you divide that by 50, I think I might be out of my mind to offer this deal. So if you can't make money with reselling web hosting to your clients because you're in this business, right? You're not painting houses, you're not delivering pizzas. No disrespect to people painting houses and delivering pizzas. Or you basically paint a house and then deliver the pizza to the guy that's painting the house. <laughs> I digress. So what I want to share with you is definitely take advantage of what I'm offering. Now once the site launches, all bets are off. This price is going to go up to $4.99, which is still worth every penny. This is an introductory offer. You're going to get everything that's on this list. This You're going to get the software the day that you pay. You're going to get the web hosting accounts the day that you pay. You'll be able to log into the site next Wednesday. And again, if you want to do the payment plan of $49 today and $50 later, the $50 balance will be due in 45 days. So thank you very much for being here. Definitely take advantage of this great deal I'm offering. My name is Robert Farrell. Thank you very much for being here. Carpe Diem 2014.